Core here with Crash and Burn Racing, and welcome back to another video. And today we are checking out Tiny LED's Real Pit. Now, this little guy only weighs 0.3 grams and allows you to remotely turn off and on your VTX. And today we will be putting it into my Vertex 4 Ultralight uh, racing frame here. And this is a very, very compact, tight build. But with this thing being so small, it's pretty much a breeze to put in any build. So I'm going to start tearing this apart. So here's a closer shot at this build. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight build, but there should be plenty of room to get this little guy in there. To get your real pit to work, you will need a free UART on your flight controller. And it can be soldered to either the transmit pad or the receive pad. Looking at our pads on here, you will see that there's the VTX Plus. That is the power going to your VTX. You got your Battery Plus, where the battery power will go into. FC, that's what will hook up to your UART and a ground pad. Wiring it up is pretty straightforward. All we're going to be doing is providing power to this, and that's going to be in between your, your power supply and your VTX. So for here, this is the plug-in that goes to my VTX. So this little red wire here, we're going to put that on the VTX Plus, and then we're going to take power off of here again and go to the, the battery, which is the power coming in, and this is the power coming out. And then we're going to hook up this UART here, which I have hooked up to, uh, looks like, the R3 pad. That's going to go to our FC pad right here. And then we got to provide ground, so I'm going to run another wire coming off of here, take this one off, put it on here, and there will be two little ground wires hooked up to this pad here. So I've got my real pit mounted on top of my AKK FX3 VTX here. And um, I think this is a great VTX myself. I've had great luck with it. Other people not so much, but hey, I guess there's always some bad ones out there, right? But uh, anyway, so here's my uh, power and ground co going to my VTX. So that will be on this pad right here. VTX plus and then here is the power coming off of the board and that's going to the battery plus here and this UART will be soldered up right here and I'm going to solder both of these grounds uh, here to this pad right here. Here's one more shot of the soldering job for this real pit and the thing to keep in mind is that you simply just provide power in and then power out to your VTX. We're now ready to go into beta flight so let's get connected here and the first thing I want you to do is to go into your CLI command and type in resource and I want you to copy and paste this and save it to a notepad because this can be a very useful reference just in case you get things a little messed up and you need to go back and see what it was this will come in very handy for that alright so if you go to racedayquads.com or any website that sells this that's that's where I bought mine from is Race Day Quads. Um, on the listing here if you scroll down to the bottom it has the uh, the directions to uh, how to set this up and they, they kind of look complicated at first but they're actually not that bad and there are directions for uh, flight one but apparently race flight is not yet supported at least not at this time for this I made my own directions here in my notepad and they're pretty easy to follow so we did our resource already and now we're gonna go ahead and look up our RX3 pad which for me would be B11 and we're going to do the resource for that and so we're just gonna copy and paste this in here and whatever you use you just have to change the RX3 to whatever it is that you're using on your board so I'm gonna go to beta flight tap that in there hit enter now that UART is freed up on that pad and then next we'll go back to our notepad here and we're going to set the custom load switches so we're gonna copy this paste this in hit enter everything still looks good now we need to assign that uh, resource ID for the custom switch and that's pretty simple too here is our uh, our resource here for that pad and then we're gonna copy and paste this one Hit enter and that's it for the CLI portion anyway so we're going to click save on that alright 
so now that you got the CLI portion done, now you need to go back into beta flight and set up the mode on your switches to be able to turn off and on your uh, reel pit for your VTX. So we're going to scroll down, and down here on user one, that is the uh, the new range that we added. So we're going to go into here. I'm going to set it to resource two or auxiliary two. Turn it up here. Let's give it a quick check, make sure it works. All right, there we go. So now we're going to save that. And that should be all that you have to do. Now it's time ready to plug in a battery and see if it works. So now I've got my transmitter on, a battery, and we're ready to plug this in and give this thing a shot. So battery's in. It defaults to have the VTX off. So you can always power up in the pits if you want. And so if we flip this switch here, hey, look, your VTX turns on and then you can just simply turn it off. So there you have it. It's actually a pretty easy product to install if you take your time and follow directions closely. And this can actually be used up with three different quads, having three different ranges in there. So there's definitely a lot more that you can do with it. You may be asking, why would I want this in my quad? Well, for racers, this can be very handy because you can put your quad out there on the racing block, have your VTX off, not producing heat, it's going to maintain its uh, you know, low temperature, and when it's come time to race, you can flip it on, make sure your video is good, arm and go. So it can definitely keep your temperatures low on your VTX, help you know, have a little bit cleaner video when you first start up. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool product. And definitely one thing I want to see is this in future VTXs. This is a, I would think it be, should be fairly simple to put this into a current VTX. It's not that big. So if you're a manufacturer out there, please put this in your VTX with the smart audio or whatever protocol you're using. If you have any questions or comments about this, please post them in the comment section down below. I'm Core with Crash and Burn Racing and thank you for watching.